Hi, I'm Sarah Witter. I'm a research engineer at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, and today I'm standing in front of PNNL's lab homes on PNNL's Richland campus in Richland, Washington. And in the lab homes, we're doing a series of experiments where we're evaluating the energy savings potential of different low E storm window technologies. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit more about low E storm windows, what they are, how they work, how you install them, and the energy savings you can get for your home. So low E storm windows save energy as they always have by creating a secondary window that goes on the outside or inside of your primary window to increase the amount of thermal resistance between your warm indoor temperatures and cold outdoor temperatures in the winter. They create a dead air space which also helps decrease radiative heat loss through the window and can improve infiltration by acting as a primary air barrier if your primary windows are leaky. This exterior storm window includes a low emissivity coating, or a low E coating. And this coating helps increase the insulative properties of the window by reflecting radiative heat back into the warm inside environment and not losing that heat to the outside sort of like a mirror, reflecting some of that heat or light back where it came from. This increases the overall U factor of the glass. Storm windows can be installed as a do-it-yourself home improvement project by any homeowner who's handy with a screwdriver and a tape measure. That being said, it can also be installed very efficiently by a home performance contractor or weatherization contractor. All that's all needed to install storm windows is about 20 minutes for someone who's proficient with installing storm windows and a few simple tools. The only tools you'll need to install a storm window properly include a tape measure, a screwdriver, putty knife, caulk, and a caulking gun. Be sure to check your window to ensure that the primary window is not cracked, missing glass, and that it does not have any rotting wood, broken parts, or water leaks. The trickiest part of installing storm windows is getting the dimensions right. You'll typically need to have windows custom ordered to exactly fit your window opening for each window. This can be done through window dealers or big box retailers. Big box retailers also carry some stock window sizes that are very common that you can purchase right off the shelf. But this can only be done for windows that are of that traditional dimension. The first step in getting started to order storm windows for your home is to precisely take the interior window opening dimensions for each window. For the exterior panel, position the storm window into the opening to check for the proper fit. Determine the top of the storm window by noting which direction the movable panels operate. Center the storm window in the opening. Ensure that all screw holes land on solid wood. Cock the top and sides of the existing window opening. Do not cock the bottom sill. The bottom of the exterior storm panel is designed with weep holes which allow any water or condensation that may collect inside the storm panel to drain. So that's why we don't want to seal this bottom opening up with caulk. For the interior panels, the low E storm panel will be installed inside the wood casing or frame of the primary window. The interior panel is measured to fit into the window opening so that it is pressed in to mount up against either an existing stop in the window casings or against a blind stop that's put in just for installation of the low E storm window. Typically, you would remove the glass panels from the storm panel frame. There will usually be some holes in each side of the panel frame that allow it to be screwed into the sides of the window opening to keep it in place. Screw the panel frame into the wood casing of the window to secure it in place. Then, reinstall the low E storm panels, making sure the low E coating is facing towards the outside. The results from our lab home experiment 
demonstrate approximately 11% energy savings due to the low east storm windows, compared to a double pane aluminum framed clear glass primary window that's the same in both homes. There is a lot of homes out there in the United States with single single glass, single pane glass windows and leaky window openings. And in those cases, low east storm windows could save even more than we observed in the lab homes.